perception. I have realized he was a judge. Oh, yes. He's probably been responsible for sending more innocent people to their death than anyone in England. However, did you know, Sharon? Dr. Armstrong is playful. Armstrong and I are just as tired as the old boy. Yes, I heard him. Who's he asking? <laughs> oh, it's that Lawrence. Miss Brent, isn't it? I have something to ask you. Will you come out here with me? A remarkably fine night. Absolutely. Wizard car. A supercharged sports electric Lota. I can get over a hundred out of her. Did you come from London? Ah, yes. 208 miles and I did it in a bit over four hours. Too many cars on the road to keep it up. Touch night going over Salisbury Plain. Not too bad, eh? I think you passed me on the road. Oh. <laughs> yes? You nearly drove me into a ditch. Did I? Sorry. If I had seen your number, I would have reported you to the authorities. But you you were footling along in the middle of the road. Footling! Man! Footling! Oh well, what about a drink? Good idea. <laughs> Will you have one who's played on? No, thank you. Good evening, Mrs. Owen. Why Mrs. Owen? You'd make the most attractive wife for any wealthy businessman. You always flirt so outrageously? Always. <laughs> now we know. Tell me, what was all this friend talking to the judge She tried to buzz in her upstairs. I don't know. Funny, she seems so definite that there wasn't a Mr. Owen. You don't think that there isn't? Get some brandy. Who is that speaking? It sounded. What 
what's going on here? What kind of practical joke was that? Where the deal did that voice come from? There we are. You are charged with these indictments. Take it down, take it down, it's horrible. A disgraceful, heartless, practical joke. So you think it's a joke, do you? What else could it be? At the moment, I'm not prepared to give an opinion. Who the devil turned it on and set it going? We must inquire into that. Quite all right. I've given her a sedative. Now then, Doctor, you must drink after all this. No, thank you. I, I never touch it. Oh, so you said. You'll have this one, General. Now, Rogers, we must get to the bottom of this. Tell us what you know about <coughs> Mr. Owen. He's the person who owns this place, sir. I'm aware of that fact. What I want you to tell me is what you yourself know about the man. I really can't say, sir. You see, I've never actually seen him. What do you mean you've never seen him? Well, we were engaged by letter through an registry office, the Regina, in Plymouth. That's a high class firm. We can check on that. Have you got that letter? Yes, sir. Here it is. Go on with your story. We arrived here, like the letter said, on the 4th. Everything was in order, plenty of food in stock, and the place was very nice. Just needed dusting in that. What then? Well, nothing, sir. You see, we've got, we got orders to prepare rooms for a house party. Eight. And then, yesterday, by the morning post, I received another letter giving, saying that Mr. and Mrs. Owens might be detained and if so, it was to sleep with and gave orders about dinner and put it on the ground for records. Here it is, sir. Hmm. Headed Ritz Hotel in Tykerton. <coughs> Coronation machine number five. Quite new. No defects. Ensign paper. Most common make. We shan't get much out of this. We might try some fingerprints, but it's been handled too much. 
quite familiar with this thing. Got some fancy Christian names, hasn't he? You look Norman Owens. Quite the mouthful. I'm obliged to you, Mr. Marston. You've drawn my attention to a curious and suggestive point. I think the time has come for all of us to pool our information. It would be well for everyone to come forward with whatever information they have regarding our unknown host. We are all his guests. It would be well, I think, for all of us to explain exactly how that came about. There's something very peculiar about all this. I received a letter with a signature that was not very easy to read. It reported to be from a woman I had met at a certain summer resort two or three years ago. I took the name to be Ogden. I am quite certain I have never met or become friends with anyone of the name of Owens. Have you got that letter? Yes, I will fetch it for you. Miss Clayton. I never actually met Miss Owen. I wanted a holiday post to apply to a secretarial agency. Miss Grenfell. I was offered this post and accepted. And you were never interviewed by a prospective employer? No. This is the letter. Soldier Island, Devon. I have received your name from Miss Grenville's agency. I understand she knows you personally. I shall be glad to pay the salary you ask, and shall expect you to take up your duties on August 8th. The train is at 1210 from Paddington, and you will be met at Oak Ridge Station. I enclose five pounds for expenses. Yours truly, Una Nancy O. Mr. Moss.